On the 20th of March 2013, keeping warm, the Duchess of Cambridge wore a heavy coat and black gloves. She looks good in it, Marlene Burgess' fairly short teal coat, a jaunty black hat, thick black tights, and four-inch heels were Kate's choice of footwear. With one side tucked behind her ear, the Duchess of Cambridge's light brown hair was done in loose curls. On that particular day, the Duchess of Cambridge travelled to Baker Street Underground Station with the Queen and Prince Philip. Flowers are presented to the Duchess of Cambridge in London's Baker Street Subway Station, Centre. All eyes are on Kate. The Duchess of Cambridge exits the Baker Street Subway Station. In good humour, Kate accepted the gesture as she turned to the Queen and joked, I will have to wear it at home, while sporting an incredibly short teal coat by Marlene Berger that revealed her growing belly. The Duchess, who is due in July, was accompanying the monarch on her first significant engagement since becoming unwell with a debilitating case of gastroenteritis almost three weeks prior. Family outing the Duchess of Cambridge arrives at Baker Street Underground Station behind Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, from left to right. In a cream, summer tweed dress and coat by Carl Ludwig and an Angela Kelly hat, the 86-year-old monarch was whiter and more drawn than usual, but otherwise looked remarkably well. It had been planned for her to visit Baker Street Station to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the London Underground, which is only a few yards from the fictional investigator Sherlock Holmes' birthplace. Kate has now accompanied the Queen on a public appearance three times without her husband, Prince William. According to sources, the Queen had no special purpose for inviting the Duchess to join her, rather, she simply very much loved to include her on occasions when their schedules permitted. The two senior royal women arrived at 11.10 a.m., with the Duke of Edinburgh, much to the surprise of onlookers and commuters alike. When the £30 million Piccadilly Line expansion, connecting Heathrow Airport, with London's subterranean railway system, was formally opened in 1977, Queen Elizabeth II was pictured at Heathrow Central Station in London. Waiting passengers noisily booed each time an arriving train rolled into the station and blocked their view of the royal party, indicating that it was certainly an excellent day to grab a seat on the Metropolitan Line. The royal party was asked to go through a new S7 train, which is being introduced to the underground and features walk-through carriages and air conditioning, after interacting with personnel in the ticket hall. Platform 1 is the northern bound Metropolitan Line. I hope you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe for more updates thanks for watching.